Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the form validations. How we can do the HTML5 form validations. Let's try to see it. Up to now, we have seen the different types of form controls that are available in the HTML. And now we'll see how we can do these validations for those uh, form controls also. Normally, there are uh, attributes, uh, attributes are available for these form, form controls. Let's see one by one. So I'm creating here form validation dot HTML. So this is the file I am trying to create it. So this is HTML5 code snippet. And let's say that we have a form. So I'm having a simple form. I don't want to complicate it. I will try to write a simple form. So I will try to write legend. So form validations. Let's try to write this form validation. That's it. Now I am having an uh, what I can say p element in this one I am having a label so this is a name okay and here what I want to do is I want to have an input type is equal to text and I can write id is equal to name and also name is equal to name that's it so let's keep it a simple thing so this is one name and I will have another one is the email so here I can use the email. So this one takes the valid email ID. Fine, right? So now let's try to have another one. There is nothing but mobile number. And here I can write mobile. So here we can use the tell operator instead of mobile thing. And here I can write the mobile. And the last one, what I will try to do is the age. So which takes the number. Okay. So these are the different types which are available so these are available these these validations what we'll try to do so these will be available for this select box data list and all those things also it will be there so now last one will be a button submit so this is the simple form i am creating so what is that here having so first one we are having a name email mobile and age and a submit button let's try to see the output if you try to see the output so this is how the form will look like so we are having a name email mobile and age and now when i try to click on the submit so the form is able to submit the, with the empty values right so we are able to submit it with an empty values but this should not happen we should have some somewhat at least some validations for this one before sending it to the server so that the server will check will check with some more validations and all the things but we need to have somewhat basic client side validations right so in order to check the format of the data whether it is in correct format or not so these are all the things we need to check it so first what i will try to do is first what is the thing is at least the name should be required so at least he, he has to enter something so what i can do here i can write something like required field so there is an attribute that is nothing but required so when you make when you write this one as a required and if you try to submit it so you will get an html5 nice html5 ui tooltip that is telling that please fill out this field so whatever may be the value you want so you can fill out the value now it will try to submit the name so now we have added a, some basic validations in a such a way that we are adding some name okay now let's say that the minimum length of this name should be around uh, 5 and the maximum should not exceed 20 or 10 so what i can do so there is another attribute something like min length okay min length is equal to 5 and the max length max length is equal to 10 let's assume now this min length and max length attributes will apply only for the string type of related uh, input elements so now i have applied min length and max length now if i try to click here so it is telling that it is a required field now i try to enter three values it is telling that please lengthen this text to five characters or more so let's okay let's make make it as five characters now if i try to type more than 10 characters if i am trying to type it so the you the input box is not taking why because it is restricted to only 10 characters now if i try to add it less than five characters means you are getting that you need to add at least five characters or more so you are currently using two characters now let's try to write it now if i try to submit it so the name is submitted so fine up to here it is okay for me the validations for this some basic validations is fine now let's come to the email thing 
now now the user has entered something and now we are trying to submit it at least the user has to must and should enter the email so if i click on this one so it is trying to submit the empty empty thing but when i try to add a email yeah and i try to add something here instead of sending it as empty now if you click here it is telling that please include an address in the email address so that means it is checking for the well formed email id so if it doesn't anything empty means it will submit it but if you write something means it should we should write compulsorily the valid email address so that is the thing it is checking so now let's say that i want this one is also as a required field so i made this one also as a required field now the you now what it will try to happen is so at least you must enter something so email also you need to enter something when you try to enter the email so you need to have an address something like this so that it should be a correct url now i want to have i want to write little bit more validations in this one in a such a way that so it should accept only the email address which are something like gmail.com only so what can i do so we have another type of attribute that is nothing but pattern so what this what does this pattern will do is pattern will take the regular expression so what is the type of text you are writing inside this one so it will take the type of text it will match that whether the regular expression is passing to the text or not so here i can use something like dot plus at the rate gmail.com so any character that should be one or more any dot means any character and plus means one or more now the and it should be ended with the at the rate gmail.com now if you try to see so it is telling required field okay now it is telling again email so here at the rate email address it is saying okay so if i write something it is telling that you must match the requested format so the requested format is nothing but gmail.com so this so it and un, un, other than gmail.com it will not submit it okay it is telling that requested format so gmail.com if i try to submit it so now the gmail.com email id is submitted and also the name is also submitted so two validations most of the times we using the html5 validations we have completed now comes the mobile part so mobile part we know that this tell operator will take the value so you can also use the required field for this one and also you can use the pattern in a such a way that it should take zero so it will take zero to nine okay and also it should be something around 10 characters if you if you give the comma at least 10 characters it will be or otherwise uh, 10 10 characters exactly 10 characters it should be now if you try to write it so here i am writing okay so it should be gmail.com and if i try to submit it so it is telling okay so if here it is telling that please match the required format so one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so now the validation has been passed so exactly the 10 10 words are there 10 integers are there 10 digits are there so it is submitting so if i click on submit so mobile is also going now let's go to the last one that is nothing but age input box so for this age input box let's say that the age should be uh, minimum 60 and should not um, greater than it should should not be greater than uh, 100 or something like this for 30 to 60 let's say minimum should be 30 and the maximum should be 60 so now here you can for this type of number so instead of using this min length and max length so there are another attributes that are nothing but min min minimum value it should be 30 and the max should be 60 so now we have written in such a way that the number the value it will be accepted is between the 30 and 60 only not other than more than 60 or less than 30 now if you try to see so here i am writing the validations correctly and here i will try to see the mobile one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and here it, i will try to do 23 let's try to submit it it is telling that the value must be greater than or equal to 30 okay so i will try to use 70 and if i click on submit the value must be less than or equal to 60 okay fine let's try to do it 60 if i click on submit the form is successfully submitted so these are the different types of html validations we'll be using so what are the validation attributes we have learned so first one is the required field so here also if you want you can also add the required field here so that the user has to enter at least uh, anything so he has to enter any value other than keeping it as empty so now here is the required min length and max length we have learned min length and max length mean the string length of the count of the characters in a string now here we have seen the required and also the pattern we have seen the pattern will take the regular expression 
at the rate gmail.com whatever the regular expression you want you can give it regular expression and here we have given a digits of it should take only the up to 10 values only up to 10 values means exactly 10 values and here the any any value and it should end with the at the rate gmail.com and another attributes what we have learned is the age attribute here we are having min and the max so which we, which we will apply it for the number type of data so min and max what it will try to do is so here the value should be less than 30 and the uh, the value should not be less than 30 and greater than 60 the value between the 30 and 60 only it will be accepted in this input box so these are the different types of validations what we uh, by which we can implement in the using html5 attributes hope you understood about these basic validations if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.